This is a two pack of screen protection film for specifically the Samsung Galaxy Tab A8 model SMX200. I received these to review for free. If you wanted to purchase them, they would cost you about $6 for the two pack. They have not paid me for my review, and so my opinions remain my own. So inside the package, you have this patch installation cleaning kit, and there's two of those, and you have two of these protective films. So each of the film is inside of a styrofoam wrapper here, and it has a back thing here that you have to peel off and set down. So the instructions are right here. Let's go ahead and get started. So step one is clean with the alcohol pad um, and electrostatic dust collector. I have a brand new guy here, so hopefully it won't require much cleaning. Step two, peel off the only release film layer, protective film, of the tempered glass protector. Notice that the action must be slow to avoid damaging the protector. And so I'm assuming that this little guy here will peel off that film. Now this here is a protective screen. It is not tempered glass. It is plastic. Um, but it goes on the tempered glass of your tablet. And you can see here I'm putting fingerprints on it, but luckily there are on this protective screen on the back. Step three, line the screen protected with tablet screen properly and slowly cover it. Step four, gently press the tempered glass film from the middle to the surroundings with your hand until it completely fits the screen. So they don't have anything about getting it wet. They don't have anything about using a card, a plastic card to install it. Let's take a look at the patch installation cleaning kit and see what they have inside of here. So it looks like they have a dust absorber. So basically it's a a sticker that gets the dust off your screen. Um, they have the alcohol wipe and the lint-free cloth. So they don't have anything to smooth this out. So there's that guy. And I'm making an assumption here that the notch should go over the camera like so. It's not a perfect fit all the way to the edge. It is just a little bit away from the edge on all the sides. Um, so you don't need to try to like line it up specifically with an edge. You can just kind of set it down. The camera is a little bit offset. I want to see there might be an optical sensor or something next to the camera, which might be why that's offset. But I don't have um, enough light to see if there's anything specifically there. Um, because I just got this out of the box, I am not going to bother alcohol wiping it. I figure anything I do is probably going to make it worse than it is. So we are going to very slowly peel this guy off. And I'm going to try very hard to not touch this side of my little plastic protector. I'm just touching the edges here. And we're going to set this down as carefully as I can. It slid a little when I set it down. But I can lift it up and move it a little. All right, so that's pretty evenly spaced. We're going to press in the center. Well, I see a, an expanding area here. So underneath that film, there must be some type of liquid or chemical or something. But when I started pushing, man, it expanded out. Maybe it's just static cling. Maybe it's just surface tension there. But that just spread out really nicely. There's a couple little dots on the edges. When I rub this over, they're getting smaller and smaller. And 
and that corner there is the only spot I see anything at all underneath here. So I think that was mostly just kind of a static cling type effect um, and getting all the air out there, but it looks like it's sticking pretty well. And that is the sum total of how to install this guy. So we're essentially done. We can turn this on and set it up. I do want to bring your attention to the scratch resistance, anti-fouling, and explosion proof nature of this product. I found it easy to install. It says it's super hardness, 9H, and it's an HD screen. Alright, so this guy is booting up. I can see the screen perfectly well through the um, little protector that's on top of it. So I was able to access the accessibility and go back, push start. We have to agree to all of these things or go back. So the touch sensitivity appears to be just fine. Um, I can, you know, just tap, barely a tap there and it registers. Um, and I can view the screen quite well. I believe, let's see if I can get a brighter screen. It might be as bright as it gets or it might not be a way to set it up there. Um, so it doesn't appear to be having any problems with the touch sensitivity on the screen and I can read it just fine. So I'm very happy with the setup and ease of use of installation um, of this little plastic film to protect my screen from scratches.